Okay, well, hello everybody, and welcome back to another drawing video. It's been a while since I've done one of these, and so I figured that it was about time that we did a new one. Uh, I'm here with my daughter Lily. Hi. And uh, she was the one that uh, actually had the idea of recording of recording this and doing all of these, uh, doing it, taking a picture of Spider-Man that I'm doing here. Taking it from the very beginning to the uh, to the very end. Here you see I'm penciling. Uh, this is actually a commission that I was doing for a for a guy, and I'm in the process of penciling here. Uh, basically, I was doing the layouts uh, to start with, doing a uh, 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 very loose uh, penciling uh, thing. Right now, I'm. It looks like I'm laying out the uh, laying out the actual panel borders and everything. But uh, it, you could probably see whenever I was doing this that I was holding my pencil in a very loose way. Now I'm tightening up a little bit because I'm doing uh, just more of, the, more of the details. Actually, after I got the gesture drawing, that was the word I was looking for earlier but couldn't remember it. A uh, gesture drawing is basically when you're doing your, your really loose, a very light uh, touch uh, layouts. Here I'm doing it a little bit, uh, I'm, I'm going in a little bit, um, a little bit heavier, a uh, little bit harder I guess. But you know, a lot of times, when, this is more for, for illustrating how penciling is done. Whenever I'm inking myself, I don't really even go to this stage. It's not really, I could mean I could probably ink uh, from what I had done already. But for you guys to see the penciling process from, from start to finish, I decided to go ahead and uh, do a, this is how I would be penciling if uh, say I was working on a job for Marvel and uh, they another inker was going to be inking uh, inking my uh, my work and for there to be no question as to what lines go where I'll uh, pencil it in a more tight as we call it way uh, than the more loose way that I would normally do it if I was inking myself and so you see this is just me adding uh, adding more detail to the costume and everything adding the adding the musculature um, and I'm thinking light source and everything whenever I'm whenever I'm doing this especially on a costume like Spider-Man's which has the the dark areas that are I kind of treat it like kind of like shiny fabric or whatever and uh, and so you have to like basically accentuate uh, all of the muscle musculature and everything uh, and treat it as if there was a light source shining down, you know, upon the uh, upon the figure. Now I'm doing the background, and I, whenever I'm doing these commissions, I always try my best to make it as dynamic as possible. A lot of times, to make things dynamic, you, you put you put things on a tilt. Uh, it just makes makes everything look askew, but it also makes it look like you're in the middle of the action as the viewer. It it puts you less of being just a viewer of the of the uh, action and as and puts you into more of a participatory if that is that a word yeah. a participatory uh, uh, stage where you're like right there uh, with the action and also I, I, I visually made the care the viewers point of view underneath it's like what we call a worm's eye view shot or an upshot of the character where you're like below and you're looking above uh, on Spider-Man as he's swinging through, the, uh, swinging through the city. And also, I'm kind of doing perspective drawings, but not really. I was kind of like eyeballing it. Shh, don't tell anybody. <laughs> but I do, that, uh, I do that quite often. Here you see this is the, pretty much the finished, finished pencil, uh, pencil drawing, and that's what I uh, would be... Uh, using to uh, ink from and that's pretty much the style of pencils that I would uh, be doing to give to uh, uh, an inker. Well, uh, you saw me just demonstrating the p pen, br the brush pen that I'm using here which is called a um, Pentel pocket brush pen. I've had this thing for, oh, good lord, I don't know, about yes, eight, nine years and have used it pretty much on everything that I uh, everything that I do anytime that I have to draw like an organic line I'll use it uh, to uh, to draw the main 
like I'm doing here, any kind of feathering techniques uh, that you'll uh, that you'll see. You can see I'm pretty much using it for every everything, especially like the uh, I don't know what you would call it, like the outline, the, the out the outside portions of the of the figure. All of the lines that will give you that really good thick and thin uh, dynamic uh, quality that. I don't even know if it's even used so much anymore. I don't know. Do people use brushes to ink with now? Well, you I use brushes, but that. you use brushes on your, you use brushes digitally. My daughter does all the same stuff that I do, except she, while I do everything on, uh, on paper still, she does hers. She does, she, you work sometimes on paper yeah. when you do a commissions and stuff, but mostly you're, uh, <clears throat> you're working on your iPad pro, right? Yes. And you see, I just I just uh, used a sharpie there to uh, anytime I have like a big big uh, spot of black, I'll use a sharpie or um, to to save my ink because yeah, those ink, waste ink right the ink cartridges just uh, are not you know I mean they're not they're not expensive but they're I don't you know I don't want to <laughs> I don't want to waste them whenever I can f do it just as good with a with a sharpie. And so basically, here I am going in and filling in all the black, all the black areas, and uh, going through the uh, through the outline. You noticed I haven't touched the webs because I, I don't think I do those with brush. I think uh, those are like done with a uh, done with a pen. And what I'm I am using a pen here, but it's a brush pen. It has bristles and it has a cartridge that goes in, inside it. Uh, those things usually run around. 13 14 dollars but I, like i said i've had mine for close to 10 years now i'm going in with another i think this is like a disposable brush pen but it's a really fine brush pen i like it because they they have a little snap to uh uh to them you can not get as soft as your other one Right, and, and but you can still get a little bit of um, variation in your line quality whenever you put it down which is to me that's important i don't want something that has a What's the word I'm looking for? Dead line, I guess. Uh, whenever I'm putting putting it down, I, I like my I like my lines to be to be lively. And all of this stuff here, I am giving a plug to this. Uh, and they're not paying me. I'm just doing this because I because I like their uh, th like their product. But I, I get all of my uh, pins and stuff from a place called JetPins.com. Uh, I can leave a link uh, for it if anybody is interested in uh, in in getting and getting this stuff. I I sing their praises all the time because I, I I use them so much. But I constantly get asked, "What kind of pins do you use? What kind of tools do you use?" And uh, that's where that's where I get it from. But honestly, it's not really the tool. <laughs> it's not really the tools you use. It's 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 the person person using them. That there's uh, what you're seeing. Here is, uh, I've been doing this for years and years and years, and I wish there was a magic bullet that, that said, oh, yeah. you can get your, you can do commissions and make them look just the way you want them to the first time, but no, uh, that's not the, that's not the case. I've been doing this stuff for, for a long time, and I'm still learning, still learning new stuff, so I'm not going to sit here and say I'm all that. Or, or or anything it's just I've, I've i've done it a long time if i'm not good at it by now then i think it might be time to change a prof my profession <laughs> so um so anyway uh you can see i've i've you, i'm using all kind of different pins and stuff i got a lot of them that i that i keep and certain ones for certain things like this one obviously is good for uh for the more technical uh lines that i'm adding it with the buildings and stuff but you see that it's kind of i much prefer if you haven't noticed by now i much prefer the uh more organic lines where i'm not having to get so mechanical uh and and stuff with it but you know hey all of that all of that stuff is part of the part of the picture so or the part of the job description so um you got to learn you know you got to learn how to use all of the tools that you have at your uh, at your disposal now i'm doing i have no idea why i switched pins but i did maybe that's maybe this one was a little bit thinner maybe i, I don't Looks i don't like know it. maybe so but uh i'm just using the straight edge of the uh of the circle template to help me keep my line straight and again i'm just you're i think you're a lot of guys follow these guidelines and make their make their vanishing points and i did that for a long time but honestly you know you do this so long you 
you kind of just eye, I, you learn to eyeball it and and oh here I am adding another building because I guess I must have figured that it just needed something extra because it looked like there was just too much at the too much empty space at the top and it just didn't feel sometimes you just got to go with your gut it didn't feel right uh, to me or, or it, not that it didn't feel right it just felt like it needed something and so that's why I'm adding adding this uh, this building here um, it's another thing like if spider-man's in the middle of a swing where did he where's he swinging from if those if those buildings behind him were the highest spot you know I just feel like he there needed to be a higher spot than what I had uh, already uh, already drawn I don't know. There's a method to my madness, trust me. <laughs> this is the uh, final inking stage, uh, and this is how it looked before I started adding the color. And the next stage is pulling out the color, which is a whole, which is a whole other uh, uh, thing, and I'm about to do it here. What you see in front of you is uh, these. This is pretty much how I color all of my stuff. These are P Dr. P.H. Martin's Radiant Concentrated Watercolor Dyes. Say that five times fast. Um, and uh, I, you, you only have to use a very small, small amount of them mixed with water, diluted with water. And these brushes that I have here uh, are, um, or these brush pens are, are uh, full of water in the, uh, in the barrel. And uh, you can really uh, mix. You can really mix the uh, colors well with that. It looks like I'm just using black here now and mixing it with water to make the to make the different shades of gray, uh, and using it for all of the different buildings and stuff that are you know all the different things that are are gray. Even using it for his eyes a little bit, give his eyes a little bit of a little bit of a shade. And uh, so you see a lot of a, a lot of that uh, the paint you see uh, in there is just uh, watercolor dyes that dried over time but with water you reconstitute it and you only excuse me you only need to use a very minute amount to get the the colors that you need and it's and they're very vibrant they're very like you said they're concentrated radiant watercolor dyes way. right exactly uh, um, uh, and and so and there you see I'm doing the same the same thing. I have several different several different blues. Watercolor dyes are they're a little bit on the expensive side. I do not get those from Jet Pens. There's a place called DickBlick.com uh, that has them. You can order them in a in a in a uh, tray or package or whatever of like ten or twelve. Uh, uh, and they're oh gosh that runs around seventy five eighty dollars for something like that or you can get you can get the individual um, colors for around seven eight dollars for but again you can you can use these things for a long long time before they before they go out so you debt for a guy like me that does this for a living I definitely get my money's worth uh, uh, out of them. And uh, everybody has their own way of coloring. Uh, this is just my personal uh, choice. Uh, Dr. P. H. Martin's watercolor dyes were what were what comics were colored with. At least the comic book coloring guides were colored with before uh, the advent of digital uh, coloring. Here's something that I just started doing fairly recently. I guess I started throwing all of these different colors in a sky. Uh, this actually here I usually do it whenever I'm doing a space scene but I'm doing it here because I remember the old uh, spider-man cartoon like the really old one that uh, spider-man spider-man does whatever but that one um, and I remember the the backgrounds being so crazy it's like they just it, nothing nothing really made sense in the real world everything looked like a dream you know the skies were always colored just like this the way that I'm coloring oh boy I'm breaking out my um, I'm breaking out the uh, the really expensive uh, colors I got, and at the Dollar General just down the road, um, using my uh, handy dandy uh, Crayola markers here. But hey, don't knock them unless you tried them, because uh, I pretty much every commission that I've done that it was been in color has been colored uh, somewhere uh, by these th by these things. But that's not what is that? That was a that was one of the ohuhu ohuhu markers. It's that, just an alcohol-based marker. Okay, that you got for me for my birthday or Christmas or something, something one one time. So uh, so I do use C C Copic or Copic-like 
uh, uh, markers, but most of the time I use them very sparingly. Okay, now I'm going in with my whiteout pen. Uh, so that you got from Jet Pens. Right. It's a, what are those things called? Signo Uniball, I think, was the is the name of them. Uh, and uh, those things are real, and they're fairly cheap. I think they're around two two dollars for a for a uh, for a for a marker. So I usually get every order that I make. I usually get two or three different different ones. But I use them very much. Uh, whether it's a color piece, whether it's a black and white piece, I use it for stars. I use it for covering up mistakes. I use it for enhancing uh, light sources. That type of. Thing. I use it to sign my name. <laughs> so anyway that that's that's it that's pretty much uh the uh commission that i did uh from start to finish of old spidey so uh stay tuned uh for uh new videos if you like this kind of stuff uh subscribe chime in tell me tell me the kind of stuff that you would like to see and we'll talk to you take we'll talk to you soon take care and we'll see you later Bye bye <laughs>